It's about the mind. Now, when you talk about the mind, it's about the brain. We are here to help everybody to understand you are unique. I'm talking to you. Please put a comment if you don't believe what I'm saying. You are so unique. It's about the brain. The brain about the information, the way you take information, you store the information, you put the information to action. But remember, you need the fuel, huh? <laughs> you need the fuel. Your brain needs fuels. You cannot run a car, a vehicle, without the fuels. Brake oil, engine oil, uh, coolant, uh, all this. If one of the fuels depleted, you cannot run that car, vehicle. Even it's a Rolls Royce or whatever, your porch or whatever you call it. You as a human being, your body does not run on artificial fuels, the so-called the drugs. They destroy your immune system more than they, call, they cause compromisation of your immune system. So when you talk about the healthcare system, which is our belief, that which is our arena, which is our path. Thomas Edison, go back to the quote of Thomas Edison. One of his quotes he said about the doctor of the future will not use medicine. Today, he is the doctor of the future. So after this issue of the pandemic, I'm telling you, you're going to watch this. Young generation say, I don't want to take drug anymore. I have a headache and you say, take a pill? I have a stomach pain, you take me, tell me to take a pill? I have a flu, you take me, tell me to take a pill? Oh, come on, what happened with the coronavirus? This is the fifth, the fifth coronavirus. Not the first, eh? Since 2003. It struck the world. But this fifth one has struck the economy very bad. Young generations are suffering. They cannot go to school. My son keeps on saying, first, Dad, I cannot go to school. I hate what I'm, it's happening to me. Stay home. Why should I stay home? I'm healthy. These young generations are very angry to be forced to stay home. Because they say, why? Now, look what's happening in the United States. Look, open the news. There's nothing to hide. It's there in the news. People are protesting already. They say, I can't sit home and have to feed my family. So why is the government tell me stay home and I'm dying of hunger? I, I need to eat. I need to have food on the table. I need to feed my family. So many people depending on the income, small businesses, from daily what they do. So many businesses are dying now. So people start to protest and say, OK, come on. Put the elders and people under medical condition under quarantine. We don't, nobody can control us. I am not under the control of the government or whoever tell me. I'm gonna, I need to go back to work. This is happening already. This is happening. So that's what we talk, the leadership. So these young generations will start to revolt. They start to talk, why should I be under quarantine? Why should I be put under, you know, and stay home and so on? I'm healthy, you know. Okay, but we understand this coronavirus is irrevocable, but why the entire country is to be locked down? Why it is a lockdown? Why the entire society is to be locked down? Why should I pay the price? Why should I be hungry? I mean, we know it's painful about this, what's happening with the pandemic, but the there could be another solution. That's what the people say. That's what the media is showing to us about this protest and what's happening. So going back to the, uh, the leadership, every part of the society, every sector of the society, you will start to experience the young generations are taking over. You will see those professors in universities are those young generations. I talk about the 30 and 40 years old, 30s and 40s. You will see the CEOs are the 30s and 40s. You will see the politicians, mayors and the senators, even president. You may see even the next president of the United States is the youngest. It will happen very soon. So even all over the world, they are very motivated, very powerful, and they are very strong. They are really motivated. They even understand. They wanted to say, come on, I don't want to be like my ancestors who suffered with the coronavirus. This is just what's going on. Virus, my body is up to fight a virus. My immune system is strong enough that it will come to, when a new virus enters my body, my body, when it's, once it starts to fight the immune system, we, what's happening with the intelligence system of the body, the white blood cells, all this, what's happening, then within time, my body will start to cope with the virus. So I may carry that virus without it cause harm. That's the power of the immune system. This is a fact. This is a fact. So it's happening already. So we're calling pharmaceutical industries. Please, 
please join, pull your multi billion dollar slowly, slowly, and start to invest in the wellness industry because it's a game change. Evolution, everything happened through evolution. Coronavirus has brought that evolu evolution. It has caused death, but people are now awakened. Let me share one thing. We talk about the brain. We talk about brainstorming, using the brain, how to catch information, how to store information, how to keep this information into, you know, a formulation, you know, complex formula done in the brain, and then how to release information. Remember, your brain needs fuel. <laughs> your brain needs fuel. You know what other fuel? Come on. We talk about science. If you don't believe, put a comment there, please. Your brain is composed of around 78% water. You can imagine that. So we talk about the fuel of the body. This fuel are exclusively copyrighted. We own this copyright exclusively from the hot water. Because hot water generates to the brain cells and the entire body, not just only hydrate, but hakwit. And you never find in dictionary or in Google about hakwit. We have coined that. So we own this copyright, we register the copyright, but we want to bring this information to the society. The more we share, the more we learn. So the only, the exclusive means to maintain the maximum capacity, volume of all the fuels your brain rely on is through the hot water. Let me go quickly. Water, 78%, the brain. Okay, the next, oxygen. Oh, wow, 20%. The brain receives 20% oxygen. That's the largest than any part of the body. Though that the brain represents 2%, you see, they say 1%, for example, 100%, 2%, just tiny, the, by volume, by weight. So, by weight, I mean, by weight. So, if you, you are 100 pounds as a human being, your entire body, the, your brain is only 2 pounds, just 2 pounds. But that two pound, that's amazing. It received twenty percent oxygen more than any part of the wall of the, the body. Number three, energy. The brain used twenty percent energy more than any part of the body. Wow! Where does it get that energy? The last one is the fourth. So we talk, we call them the fifth. Yeah, you never find them in any place. Eh? We own this copyright. We copyright it in the USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office. We have this, we have three copyrights already. So we give information, but give us credit when you share this information. It's copyrighted. So the brain, the brain, in terms of energy, which you mentioned, the third one, the fourth, so we call this the fifth. So let's go to the fourth, is hydrogen. Albert Zent Georgi, the Hungarian American biochemist, who got a Nobel Prize in his Nobel Prize speech, he talked about hydrogen and that the cellular fabric will completely collapse if, if uh, there's, there's, no only, there's only one energy in the cellular fabric, and that's the hydrogen. And without energy, which is the hydrogen energy, the cellular fabric will collapse. Check, check, please. Nobel Prize of Albert Zent Georgi, Hungarian American biochemist. But he didn't say from where the hydrogen come in the human body, but he discovered that the human body store hydrogen in his body. The liver store the largest, and so many of the, the other organs, you know, the heart, the kidney, until the spleen. So, what happened here? We found, we discover that hot water is the source of also hydrogen to your brain. Because your brain needs that, en that powerful energy, which is the hydrogen, because no electron moves without being accompanied by hydrogen. You can see, exclusive. That's why we are a running member of American Holistic Health Association. They have reposted and reposted and reposted one of our YouTube channel or one YouTube video where we talk about water and hydrogen. So we discover, we discover that hydrogen from hot water by just simply by the aqua revitalized therapeutic.